So recently, a lot of people have been asking, what is the mission on Skull Island? What are they doing on Skull Island? Why are they on Skull Island? And how do they plan to get home from Skull Island? So let us first start with what we know about this whole mission. From a military standpoint, they are going to Skull Island to drop bombs there, mapping out the island, just all of that. And then as they are dropping these bombs, they are interrupted by Kong. This is when Kong attacks the humans in the helicopters, killing multiple different soldiers. And this is basically what angers Lieutenant Packard. He obviously did not want his men to get killed, so he is going to have to have some type of revenge on Kong in this movie. So his whole mission on Skull Island is to take down Kong, of course. And this is a repeating theme throughout the trailers and the TV spots. Everyone seems to have a different mission on Skull Island. So technically, there is no main mission on Skull Island different people have different missions. For example, Lieutenant Hank Marlowe's mission is just to get home. He has spent 28 years on Skull Island surviving with the tribe that lives on the island. And he is definitely going to be playing a huge role in this film. He's going to be helping everyone else survive. He knows the island very well. He knows all the creatures on Skull Island and he knows where everything is. So he is definitely going to be a very important character. So pay attention to what he has to say during these TV spots, the trailers, and of course, the actual film. Mason Weaver's whole mission on Skull Island is to photograph what actually is happening here on Skull Island, what the military is doing here, and basically showing the public how bad and how brutal the military is. She clearly does not know what Skull Island is and what she's actually getting into. But eventually, her mission turns into saving Kong. Her, as well as Captain Conrad, basically become the heroes in this movie. They want to save Kong, they want to make sure that he survives this movie so he can live peacefully in his home. So another character with a huge mission is Bill Randa. He has stated multiple times in the trailers that monsters have ruled this earth long before mankind. He basically wants to get back home to mainland with proof that monsters do exist. He clearly has been very interested in monsters and he seems to know a lot about the history of Skull Island. So he is another person that you must listen to through all these trailers, all these TV spots, and once again, the film. Just pay attention to what he has to say, especially regarding the 1954 nuclear tests, because he seems to know a lot about that as well. As for the rest of the soldiers, their main mission on Skull Island is just to survive. We know that multiple soldiers have landed in some of the deadliest spots on Skull Island, so their whole mission is to survive and regroup with their lieutenant. So the mission on Skull Island is not just one mission. It's a whole group of missions with different characters with different goals. Obviously, a few goals are conflicting, especially between heroes and villains. So leave your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about the mission on Skull Island? Which mission do you think is the most realistic? And which mission do you think is the most plausible for the humans in general? We'll leave that all in the comment section below. And if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. And as always, guys, leave a like and have a nice day.